Knowing little and no doubt caring even less about the details of the scheme, the public responded very warmly. But not everyone was on side. One must bear in mind that a large section of the working class had already insured themselves through people like the Pearl and the Prudential and through friendly societies. And the great enemy of, the, of Lloyd George in 1911 was the man from the Prue, who went to half the houses and said, don't vote for that fella, because, of course, if there was state insurance, they might stop paying the Prue. And, of course, the other attack came from ladies, grand Tory ladies, who were expected to stick stamps in little booklets for their servants at the behest of Lloyd George. The thing was a total horror for them. And indeed, there were occasions in the Albert Hall when the orchestra might play up, uh, say, the men of Harlech, where the entire aristocratic audience would hiss because it was their way of saying they didn't like Lloyd George. 